is Amato. Hey guys, my name is Miss Bianco and I teach math and science here at the middle school. My teaching partner is Mrs. Amato. So I've been teaching for 10 years and this is my fourth year here at South Fayette. I have an amazing puppy named Ollie and we love going to walks at Fairview Park. So if you see us, please come say hello. Ollie will give you lots of kisses. All right, so in science this year, we are going to be exploring concepts about light and matter. And in math, we are going to be tackling the number system. We're gonna learn how to add, subtract, multiply, divide, decimals, and fractions. We'll cover percents, and then we'll move on to some algebraic concepts like expressions and equations and inequalities. And we'll end the year working in geometry and statistics. So this year in math, you are going to get not one, but two workbooks. These are yours to keep and yours to write in. Also, we are gonna, the first week of school, get you on what is called Connect Ed. We'll get your username and password, and you're gonna see all the resource available from this book. There are tutorials, there are um, pre-made quizzes and tests, there are practice, additional practice worksheets. So you, are going to use that that will be your number one resource to support you at home so i have the room all set up ready for you to go so i cannot wait to meet all of you and remember to work hard be kind and amazing things will happen so here you go mrs schober Hi, I'm Mrs. Schober. I teach math six and pre-algebra. I've been teaching at South Fayette for 26 years. I'm on a team with Mr. Lawton and Mrs. Tenuta, who is new to South Fayette this year. I have three children, uh, two dogs, and two birds. So let's take a minute and talk about what it is that we're going to be covering in sixth grade math this year. If you're in the mathematical functions class, you're going to be looking at fractions, decimals, percents, expressions, equations, and inequalities, and finishing up the year with geometry. If you are in my pre-algebra class, we are going to do rational numbers, exponents, proportionality, linear relationships, sampling, and geometry. I have our desks nice and set up far, far away from each other so that we can still be face to face and learning with other students, but remaining very, very safe. I am going to be sure that we're following all the rules and making sure that we have a really wonderful school year. Whoa. Ooh. Thanks, Mrs. Schober. Hey, uh, just brushing my uh, <clears throat> hair. Uh, well, I'm Mr. Lawton, or you can call me Mr. L for short. This is my 14th year teaching and my eighth year here in South Fayette as a language arts teacher. Absolutely love it. I'm also the middle school boys soccer coach, so I love doing that. And I enjoy playing the guitar, and I'm really good at writing super corny songs that will help you learn. You'll see. Um, get the ukulele in there from time to time, so that'll be fun. I'm on a teaching team this year with Mrs. Cress for reading, Mrs. Schober for math, and Ms. Tenuta for science. Can't wait to work with them. Uh, a little more about me. I've been married for 11 years to my beautiful wife, Lizzie, and these are our four wonderful girls, Maeve, Lily, Haven, and Leela. And, of course, my dog, Chase. Can't forget him. Um, honestly, I just can't wait to get rolling with you guys. You know, I've been working hard. We've got a really nice collection of short stories, poetry, and novel study uh, that we've prepared for you. I'm um, going to provide plenty of opportunities for you to grow as writers, as speakers, develop your confidence, your skills, and uh, really try to incorporate your interests and your passions. Um, I think you'll love it. I hope. And I uh, just can't wait to meet you. So that's about it. Thanks for stopping by. And here you go. Thanks, Mr. Lawton. Hi, my name's Miss Tenuta. Welcome to my classroom. Let me give you a little brief tour. I teach sixth grade science, and this is my first year teaching at South Fayette Middle School. I am so excited to be part of the South Fayette Middle School family. At the beginning of the year, we're going to start off by doing get to know you activities and familiarizing ourselves with Canvas. 
we're also going to begin our first unit, which is about light and matter. I'm so excited to meet all of you. We are going to have a fantastic school year. I'm now going to pass it on to Mrs. Potts, who's standing six feet away from me. Thank you, Ms. Tenuta. I am standing six feet away. My name is Darcy Cotts, and I teach both science and math this school year. I have been with the South Fayette School District for, this is my 18th year. Um, I live in the Fox Chapel School District with my husband and my two sons that are in sixth and fifth grade. So I have a brand new sixth grader going to a middle school as well. So I know how it is uh, for everyone for that transition. Um, again, I teach science and math. I'm gonna give you a little tour of the room here. And for math, we use uh, a calculator and it was one that was optional to buy. It's a TI-30X 2S, um, so it might be want something that you want to purchase at home for home. And also you will be getting a volume one math book, which is also a math workbook, which is very, very helpful for families. And we always have our, we also have our workbook online as well. Um, in science, we are going to start off the year getting to know you, working with Canvas, and also uh, learning and working with light and matter. And I'm going to go ahead and give the next slide to Ms. Press, my partner teacher, six feet away. Thank you, Mrs. Cotts. Hey everybody, my name is Miss Press and I will be teaching 6th grade English language arts and social studies this year. Mrs. Cotts and I are on the same team, so if you have one of us, you'll have both of us. I am from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. I taught for four years in Caroline County, Maryland, and I came back to South Fayette for my fifth year of teaching. Fun fact about me is I actually went to South Fayette, so I was a graduate in 2012. So for you incoming sixth graders, I know exactly what you're going through. I've been in your shoes before. This year in language arts, we're going to be doing a lot of reading, writing, and thinking. We're going to be doing a lot of analysis. We're going to be reading short stories, passages. We're going to be reading Tuck Everlasting. Great novel. And if you have me for social studies, we're going to be talking about ancient civilizations. So that'll be really interesting. Um, so my room is currently under construction, so there isn't a whole lot to show you, but I will give you a glance around the room. All right, so my classroom is brand new, so it's actually pretty nice. We have lots of chairs, even though we won't be using them to start. We have a nice window, and I have a couple whiteboards and bulletin boards. So I promise you, when you come in my classroom, there will be a lot more color, a lot more pizzazz on the walls, but until then, this is what we have. But sixth graders, I cannot wait to meet you. I can't wait to show you around. I cannot wait to start the school year. See you soon. Hello, I'm Ramon West. I'll be your child's sixth grade teacher, social studies teacher for the year. I'm on a team with Bobby Ruffalo, Rachel Davis, and Christine Thomas. I'm excited to kick this school year off. I've been teaching for two years, and I'm fortunate enough to live with my fiance and my eight-month-old son. So I can't wait to start the school year off. Hi, I'm Christine Thomas. I am the learning support teacher in sixth grade. If your child has Miss Davis, I will be with her block one, Mr. Ruffalo block three, and I teach my own class block two. I look forward to getting to know you and your students this school year. Let's have a great year. Hi everyone, I'm Rachel Davis. I'm so excited to be your language arts teacher this year. I live in the North Hills with my boyfriend and my dog Bailey. We love to go on walks in North Park. I'm so excited to start this year with you. What's up, everybody? My name is Bobby Ruffalo. I'll be your child's sixth grade math teacher this year. So excited. This is my 20th year of teaching, my 17th year in South Fayette. I've been lucky enough to be the boys' golf coach. I have a wife named Danielle, two daughters named Gianna and Bella, and they attend the Ken McMillan School District. We all look so forward to working with your kids this year. We know it's going to be a great year, regardless of any of the challenges that we face. Talk to you later. Hi everyone, welcome back to the 2020 school year. 
I'm Mrs. Piccarilli. I teach seventh grade pre-algebra. I'm on a team also with Mrs. Sassini, uh, Mr. Oni, and Mrs. Beinecke in semester two. So wanted to have the opportunity to tell you a little bit about myself. Uh, my husband and I have a five-year-old daughter, Juliana, who is going to kindergarten this year. We live in uh, the Hopewell Area School District, and we're very excited. For her, we spent a lot of time this summer just having family time, a lot of camping, outdoor activities, hiking, swimming, um, and especially gardening and cooking, which is one of her favorite things to do right now. Um, just as you get ready for the school year, uh, I want you to kind of take the mantra of one day at a time. We've all got a lot of challenges, and we're going to face those together. Uh, whether it's technology, uh, content, routine, any of those things, we're going to um, face them together and we will get through them together um, with the help of each other. So another tip for those of you, um, if you have long hair or you're struggling um, with the mask wearing, whether you're just going out for a while um, or you need to wear them in the classroom, uh, one tip that I've seen is headbands with buttons sewn on them. You can get them on Amazon or you can sew them on yourself. And very simply, oh, put them on and it kind of saves your ears. So just a thought in case this might be something for you. Um, so I look forward to seeing you um, and meeting you, whether it's uh, virtually or in the classroom. So take care. See you soon. Hello, my name is Mrs. Sassini and I teach seventh grade language arts. If you have me on your schedule this year, that means that you have Mrs. Piccarelli for math, Mr. Oni for social studies for semester one and semester two, Mrs. Beinecke for science. I'm entering my 18th year teaching this year. It's hard to believe. Uh, 15 years here at South Fayette, um, which is definitely long enough to know how truly special a place South Fayette Middle School is. And that's because of the amazing teachers and of course, um, you know, first and foremost because of our students because of you. Some of my favorites, um, I love music. I love a big bowl of pasta. Um, love the Pittsburgh Steelers. I love working in my yard. I guess that happens with age. Um, I don't know, but I do. And I also love uh, exercising when I can find the time. Something uh, new that I picked up as of late um, with all of my extra time at home would be mountain biking. My children and I purchased bikes in the spring. So we've been hitting the trails in North Park, which is close to where I live in the North Hills. Uh, my two children, Anthony and Addison, they're twins. They're entering sixth grade. And then I have um, a dog, a golden retriever named Eddie, who keeps me busy, and my husband's name is Michael. Um, you know, we all know that we are entering a year unlike any other, uh, and that change is difficult. I think change is hard for all of us. So um, it's also, uh, I think, true that every accomplishment begins with just that willingness to try. So I am really looking forward to learning and growing um, alongside you this year, if you land in my class. Um, and I'm uh, looking forward to meeting you, and I'll see you soon. Take care. Hey everyone, welcome back to school and welcome to seventh grade. My name is Mr. Oni, and I'll be teaching American history this year. For the first semester of the school year, I'll be working with Mrs. Piccarilli and Mrs. Sassini, and then for the second semester, I will switch over and be on Mrs. Hoffman and Mr. Taylor's team. Uh, for the past several school years, I've taught language arts on the seventh grade team, and I'm super excited to uh, switch over to history this year. Um, history has always been my favorite subject by far, even when I was a student, so hopefully by the end of the school year, uh, you'll be a fan of history as well. A little something about myself, my wife and I, we have three sons. Uh, there's Lucas, who's starting fourth grade, Colin, who's starting second grade, and our youngest, Dylan, is starting kindergarten this year. A uh, piece of advice I would give you for the upcoming school year is just to be flexible and be patient. Um, it's going to be a lot of things that are different when you get back here. Uh, you'll notice a lot of changes, and I'm sure a lot of changes will happen as the school year progresses. So um, I remember my biggest problem in class used to be to figure out a way to get seventh graders to stop doing TikTok dances in the middle of class, and now that seems like a non-issue. So. Uh, another something else is just to be patient. Uh, be patient with your classmates, be patient with your teachers, uh, most importantly be patient with yourself. Um, so we're all in it together and it's definitely going to be a memorable school year and it's hopefully something you can look back on 
uh, with a smile and with pride. So see you soon. Hi everyone, it's Mrs. Beinecke, seventh grade science. Just like last year, science will be a semester course. For those of you that have Mr. Taylor and Mrs. Hoffman, you'll have me as well for the first semester. Moving on to the second semester, I will be transferring teams and working with Mrs. Sassini and Mrs. Piccarelli. As far as the location goes of my room, I am located directly beneath Mr. Popovic's room. Um, some information about me, I am married, my husband's name's Brian, and he's a huge Pitt Panther fan. My daughter's name is Gabriella. She's 10 years old and going into fifth grade, and she loves soccer, and I'm a soccer mom too. My son's name is Liam, he's seven, and he's going into second grade, and he's just, he's wild. Um, I know this year it looks a little different. Please don't be nervous. We're gonna get through this together. If you have any questions, if you have any concerns throughout the year, please feel free to reach out to me or any of the other seventh grade teachers. I can't wait to meet all of you. Um, I look forward to this year. It's gonna be great, I promise. Bye. Hi, seventh graders. This is Mrs. Austin. I teach on the teaching team with Mrs. Harris and Miss Greer. You might see Ms. Greer um, in one of our classes. I'll be teaching math and science this year, so you'll have me for both. Um, I'm very, very excited to meet you. It's going to be quite an interesting year, I'll tell you that, but it is good to be back. At least that's how I feel. Um, I can't wait to get to know you and just have a great year with you. Just a little bit about myself. Um, I do have two daughters a three-year-old named Alette and a one-year-old named Anias, and over the summer they became best friends, which is pretty awesome. In addition, we have three small dogs. Unfortunately, one of our dogs passed away this summer, so we automatically had to replace her, and don't worry, I will talk about them, but I have a Chihuahua, a Chihuahua, and a miniature Pincher. So they're pretty awesome as well. Um, in my free time, I like to read. I like to listen to all kinds of different music. I actually help with the musical. So if you're interested in something along lines of performing or stage crew, I do help with the stage crew aspect of that. Um, I also am really active um, with Peloton. So if you've seen those crazy commercials about the bike and the treadmill, I'm pretty involved with that as well. Um, spending time with my family is amazing and I love doing that as well and just relaxing. Um, like I said, I am excited for the school year and I look forward to meeting you soon. Bye. Hi, new seventh graders, welcome. I'm Mrs. Harris. I teach English language arts and American history here at the middle school. I'm on a team with Mrs. Austin. I graduated from Cal U and I've been teaching for five years, but this is my fourth year here at South Fayette. My husband and I love traveling to national parks. We love going outside, hiking, paddle boarding, rock climbing. I absolutely love to read. I sometimes try to take on home improvement projects, which doesn't always work out, but I try. Uh, I, I know that this is really gonna be a year totally unlike any other, but I cannot wait to start school. I can't wait to meet you, and I can't wait to see you here on your first day. All right, see you then, bye. Hello and welcome back seventh graders. My name is Miss Greer and I am on a teaching team upstairs with Mrs. Harris and Mrs. Austin. I'm a pre-algebra teacher and I also get to teach pre-algebra with Mrs. Austin and ELA with Mrs. Harris. You could also have me for one of your special area classes in resource. I think we can all agree that this summer looked and felt a little bit different I don't know about you, but I tried to make the most of it by slowing down and doing things that I enjoy. I spent lots of time with my family and time outside, whether it was at Shenley Park near my house or other campgrounds and hiking trails in the area. I did things like cooking and reading and spending time um, with my kitten named Remy um, and mostly just enjoying the summertime weather because that's my favorite season. You might have a lot of different feelings right now that feel really big, whether you're excited and curious about the new school year or you're nervous or overwhelmed. That's all okay. I think that we are all 
unsure of what to expect this school year, and that's what makes us all in this together. My biggest piece of advice is to take the school year one day at a time and not be afraid to ask questions if you need help. Um, I think that we're all just going to have to work together, whether it be through the tech troubles that might come up or trying to figure out this new system of being in school. I think if we lead each other gently and kindly, we'll be able to work together to make it successful. I'm really looking forward to learning with you soon. Hello, I'm David Taylor. I teach seventh grade pre-algebra and algebra uh, on the seventh grade team. Uh, I am working with uh, Mrs. Beinecke and with Mrs. Hoffman for the first uh, semester. Um, and then when uh, social studies and science switches, Mrs. Beinecke um, will no longer be with Mrs. Hoffman and myself, but uh, Mr. Oni uh, will be teaching social studies. So uh, that, that's our mini team. Um, I'm very interested in, in baseball, um, computers, um, and actually I've been in the middle of uh, putting together some Star Wars Legos. Uh, yeah, something I've improved over the last six months, I would say, how to try to effectively work at home, um, which is uh, not something I was always very good at, but there was no choice. Um, my uh, my biggest thing right now is just trying to stay off the roller coaster. Um, my uh, there's a lot of change going on in the world, and along with what we're doing here at school, so trying very very hard to uh, to just uh, take it one day at a time, do the best I can, and uh, provide some grace to everyone and myself. Um, and I guess that would be what I'm looking for for the rest of the school year. Um, is just uh, you know we're trying to learn all this at the same time as everyone's trying to figure out what our quote new normal is. Um, and uh, I would just hope for some grace and understanding um, and some questions as opposed to um, anything else that might happen. Um, my wife, Kimberly, and my son, Isaac, uh, live uh, with, with me. Um, right now, my sister-in-law is with us because she's in the middle of looking for a new home. Um, and, uh, uh, and that's it. And uh, of course, I've got two dogs, Rusty and Polly, at home to keep us company as well. So uh, I look forward to seeing everybody, and I also uh, look forward to a very interesting school year. And uh, we'll uh, we'll see you soon. Bye bye. Hello, seventh graders. Welcome back to school. I am one of two Mrs. Hoffmans in the building, not to be confused with the fabulous Mrs. Hoffman who teaches downstairs in the eighth grade. I am entering my 13th year of teaching, and I'm fortunate to be on a team with you and with our fellow educators, Mrs. Beinecke and Mr. Taylor. We will also be joined by Mr. Oni in the second semester for those of you who have history second. We will have a lot of fun. We have a lot of fun working together, and that does involve sometimes a bit of banter back and forth as we support our favorite sports teams. Mine, Penn State. My husband also went to Penn State, though that is not where we met. Uh, we have been married for six years. We have two little kids, two girls. Harper is about to turn five, and Reagan is about to turn two. Actually, we are your neighbors. We, too, live in South Fayette, and we own a local business. So if you see us around outside of school, be sure to wave hello. So we've had a safe and healthy summer at home, spending time with each other, as you may have done with your family. And if there is one thing we have learned through the ups and downs of these past five months, it is that tough times do not last. But tough people do, and you are tough. So if I had to choose a vocabulary word of the year, uh, I think that it would be the word resilience, because we will all bounce back from all of the challenges that the uh, changes that we have faced, that we've experienced, and we will finish this year out stronger and smarter. So uh, remember that your vibe attracts your tribe, and I want you to stay kind, even in the most trying of times, and we will see you soon. Bye. Hi, everyone. My name is Mrs. Drew. I will be teaching you seventh grade pre-algebra. And if you have me, you will also have Mrs. Shimkoski for your language arts teacher and Mr. Richmond for your science and social studies teacher. You can see behind me the classroom. Uh, it's facing the front board. 
Um, this is how much the, what the class will look like when uh, we have school this year. Um, I do have two daughters, and uh, I have one entering eighth grade and one entering sixth grade. So right in the same middle school um, world and life that you guys are in as well. And the couple of things that we were doing this summer um, to pass the time and, and have fun, we were uh, riding bikes and exercising, um, reading, and then also cooking. So any new recipes out there, um, be happy to hear them. Can't wait to meet you guys. Bye. Hello, seventh graders. If I look familiar to you, it's because I am Mrs. Shimkoski, who used to teach sixth grade. And over the summer, I decided I was up for a new challenge and moved technically downstairs to seventh grade language arts. So I will have some of you from last year again this year, and then I will see many faces that I saw upstairs last year within the classroom this year, both in person or virtually. Um, so like I said, my name is Mrs. Shimkoski. I'll be teaching seventh grade language arts this school year, and I will be on the Mr. Richmond and Ms. Jero team. Um, so I'm really excited about this new change, and I'm excited to see so many um, faces that look familiar to me from last year. Um, a little bit about me, if you didn't have me as a teacher last year, is I have two girls. Um, I have a two-year-old named Ada and um, a six-month-old named Sadie. And Sadie was born on March 1st, right before we left school last school year. Um, and we've had a really fun summer. Um, I have a husband named Jason. And basically a lot of time outside of school is spent with my family. This summer we like to go to North Park a lot, which is near where I live, and just take walks outside with the girls. Um, my hint for you this incoming school year is to just do your best. It's going to be another learning curve with um, things like Canvas instead of Google Classroom, but we're all going to be learning it together. So don't be nervous. I know you're up for the challenge, and I can't wait to see you to start a new school year. See you soon. Hello everybody, uh, my name is Mr. Richmond and I just wanted to take a moment to welcome you to seventh grade. Um, I will be teaching science for the first semester and history for the second semester this year. Um, I'm on a team with Mrs. Giroux and Mrs. Shimkoski. Um, a little bit about myself, I'm married to a seventh grade science teacher from another district. Um, I have two children, um, Elin who is in first grade and Jake who is in preschool. Um, a couple of things that we like to do at our house is that we like to be involved in sports, watching sports, playing sports, you know, anything, anything active. We can't, we really can't get enough of it. Um, I like to cook and well, I, I love to eat. So I also do cook. I, I guess I can phrase it that way. Um, and I truly do love science and history. I think that science is a very dynamic and we're always learning new things and there are new inventions and new discoveries all the time. I, I love following that stuff and learning about that stuff. Um, and as far as history, I think it's really interesting to look back in time and look at things that have happened in our country and other countries and um, all around the world and see kind of the ripple effects that have been caused um, based on these events. Um, well, anyway, um, I look forward to meeting you. Um, I look forward to our time uh, learning together this year. So uh, enjoy the rest of your summer break and I will see you in a few days. Hello, incoming eighth grade students. Welcome back to another school year. Mr. Hall here. I teach pre-algebra eight as well as algebra one A. Um, just wanna start off by saying, I hope that you had a wonderful summer and you got uh, some time to spend with uh, your friends and loved ones. Um, and just to let you know, um, while this year may be a little bit different uh, than what we've been used to in the past, I can assure you that we're working very hard to try and make it as normal as possible for everyone. Um, you've already had a chance to look over um, some of the highlights on the previous slide, just kind of get to know me. Um, but if there is anything ever, you know, that um, you would like to know about me um, or need help at all, uh, my room is right by the back door. Um, so please feel free to stop by anytime. My door is always open and uh, can't wait to see you in some form or fashion, whether that be here in school or online. Take care. 
Hi everyone, my name is Mr. Picozzi and I teach Algebra 1 in the 8th grade. This is my 7th year teaching at the middle school and this year I'm on a team with Mrs. Speakman, Mr. Bacco, Mr. Litwinovich, and Mr. Hall. Some of you may already know me from the middle school musical as the assistant director. I know this is going to be an unusual year for all of us, but with the right mindset and by working together, I'm confident that we can still have a great year. I look forward to seeing everyone in person or online, and I wish you all the best in the new school year. See you later. Hi, my name is Melissa Galata, and I welcome you to eighth grade English. I hope you've all had an enjoyable summer with your families and got to spend some fun time doing great things together, but in a few short days, we'll be back to business and getting ready to kick off a great 2020 school year. We have a lot of fun things planned for you all in eighth grade English, starting with a fun outsiders novel by S.C. E. Hinton, some really cool short stories coming your way for the fall and winter, um, poetry and writing and creative activities and projects that I know that you'll love, and um, a super novel to end the year called The Giver by Lois Lowry. So on that note, I can't wait to meet you all virtually or in person in a few short days. Enjoy the rest of your summer break and we will see you soon. Take care. Welcome back South Fayette students and families to the 2021 school year. I'm so excited to um, be teaching this year again. This is my 22nd year at South Fayette Middle School as an eighth grade teacher. And I know it's gonna look different as I'm sure many of my colleagues have already stated but we are in this together and we're still gonna learn and we're still gonna grow and we're gonna do all of these challenges together. And at the end, we're gonna have some stories that we'll share that will be really, really special. And I think that that's what I'm looking forward to the most. So I know that we can do this. Um, I'm excited to be teaching again this year and um, we've got this. So uh, here we go, 2021. Hi, I'm Mr. Becker. I teach science. Um, looking forward to a great year. Uh, we're going to do and see and learn a lot of really cool things in science. Can't wait to meet you all and get to know you. See you soon. My name is Ms. Balta and I teach eighth grade math here at South Fayette Middle School. More specifically, I teach honors geometry and algebra one. I'm actually starting my 17th year teaching here at the middle school, so I've been around here for a little while. I'm so happy to welcome you to the new school year. So to all of our veteran students, all of you entering seventh and eighth grade, welcome back. And to all of our new students, if you are someone new to the district or if you are a sixth grader who is just coming to the middle school for the first time, I welcome you back too. We're so excited to have you. And I know that this year is going to present some pretty different and unique challenges but I know that if we make a commitment to help each other and support each other as much as we possibly can, we are gonna have a great school year. I cannot wait to meet you and don't ever hesitate to say hi to me or if you ever need anything, you can come find me in the eighth grade hallway. Again, I'm looking so forward to meeting you and I wish you the best of luck as you start off this new school year. Take care, we'll see you soon. Hi, and welcome back to school. This is Mrs. Speakman, and I am an eighth grade language arts teacher. I used to teach sixth grade for the past four years, but I taught eighth grade for the 12 years before that. So believe it or not, I'm starting my 17th year at South Fayette, and I'm so excited to get to meet all of my new students this year. Listen, I know this year is unlike any other. You've heard that a million times, but I just want you to know that we truly are all in this together. I promise to do my best to make you feel safe, to make you feel comfortable, and to do everything I can to help make this year a fun one and a memorable one. Um, please just remember we are all in this together. Stay safe, stay healthy, wash your hands, wear your masks, and above all, just breathe deep, Take it one day at a time. That message is for me and for you all. We're going to be just fine. Um, I can't wait to see all of your smiling faces on the first day of school, whether it's on the computer or face-to-face -face in person. We're going to make the best of each day and just remember to always be kind to one another. I will see you all soon. Have a wonderful day. Thanks. Bye.
Hi everyone, my name is Josh Patterson. I am an eighth grade Algebra One teacher here at South Fayette Middle School. This is my fifth year teaching uh, here at South Fayette. This will be my first year teaching only Algebra One. In the previous four, I've taught Algebra One and Science. Um, so I'm really, really excited to build a strong foundation of math for all the students as they move forward into the high school. Uh, my number one priority, of course, is going to be safety this year. This is a really, really weird time for all of us. Um, so I want to make sure that all the students are being as safe as possible, whether they are here or not. Um, and then we'll, of course, focus on the, the algebra expectations and aspect of it throughout the year. Um, if you have any questions, please, please, please feel free to call and or email me, whatever is easiest for you. Um, I want to make sure that, you know, it's an open communication between all of us, the students and I, as well as the parents and I. Um, so please don't hesitate to reach out. Um, again, I'm really, really excited for this year, uh, and I look forward to meeting all of you. Hi, everyone. Mr. Phillip here. Um, I'll be teaching United States history with Mr. Bacco and Mrs. Hoffman. I have been in education for 34 years. I've been married for 34 years, and I've been at South Fayette for 15 years. So uh, my wife, Kim, is a second grade teacher at Jubilee Christian School in Mount Lebanon. And we have four kids. They are all adults now. So we have Emma, who's 31, Gretchen, who's 27, Rachel, who's 24, and Jonah, who is 21. And we have two standard poodles, Ella and Winnie. Other than that, um, I've shared a lot more information than that. I'm coming to those of you who are on our team with the eighth grade. So you'll be seeing that. But for all of you eighth graders, whether we are here together, whether you are online or whether we're a little bit of both, keep in mind, man, we're gonna have a great year. We're gonna make it through together and uh, looking forward to getting to know a lot of you throughout the year. So take care. Hi everybody, my name is Miss McNally. I am one of three eighth grade English teachers and I'll be meeting you sometime this year, either virtually or in person. We're all really looking forward to having you back and I hope you all have a wonderful school year. Hello everybody, I'd like to introduce myself. My name is Scott Lewinovich. I'm one of the eighth grade science teachers at South Ed Middle School. I'd like to take the time to welcome any of my students and their families to eighth grade. Look forward to working with all of you and, and what's gonna certainly be a challenging year, but nonetheless will definitely be a successful year. Uh, the eighth grade team is full of a bunch of vibrant and energetic teachers who uh, put a lot of time in and take their jobs very seriously. And I can promise you that what's been going on here the past few weeks is nothing but a lot of work and preparation to make sure that the school year goes as smoothly as possible for all the students and their families. Um, in eighth grade science, we'll be teaching a new science curriculum. We really look forward to getting into it. Myself, Mr. Becker, Mr. Popovic, um, looking at ways already to implement in a, whether it's a virtual platform, a hybrid platform, or, you know, fingers crossed that one of these times we'll, we'll get back to school in a full five day brick and mortar setting. Um, but I just want you to know that, you know, I'm here for any of you for any reason, not just science, school related. You need some help with some math, I'll find you the right person. Um, you know, just things, having a bad day and you wanna sit down and talk, you know, whatever it is, I, I'll do my best uh, to be there for you at any time. Look forward to seeing you all next week. Have a great rest of your summer break and uh, go Lions, bye-bye. Hey everybody, welcome to eighth grade. Uh, one of the best years of your life, I promise. Uh, it was definitely one of the best of mine, and I liked it so much that I hardly ever left. Uh, I've been teaching eighth grade for a long time, and I'm excited to be your eighth grade history teacher. Um, I can't wait to see everybody. Hopefully, we get an opportunity to see uh, you all soon. Looking forward to being able to put uh, faces to names and getting to know uh, about each and every one of you um, and who you are. And I want to just take a little bit to tell you a little bit about myself, for those of you that don't know me. Um, in addition to being an uh, eighth grade history teacher, I'm also the assistant athletic director uh, at South Fayette. Uh, I also coach uh, girls golf uh, as an assistant coach, and I coach girls basketball at Bethel Park 
uh, which is where I live. So sports are a big part of my life. I've learned a lot about uh, myself and about life through sports. Um, I've obviously learned a lot of lessons, uh, not only through sports, but through all extracurricular activities. And I certainly think that's a big part of making us who we are, um, allows us to do things that we enjoy in addition uh, to obviously learning and tending to our studies. Um, I'm looking forward to learning a lot about history uh, this year with you. I didn't always love history when I was a kid. I was your age. I didn't really uh, care too much for it, but over the years, I developed a great appreciation for it. And I just think there's something so cool about learning uh, about people and places uh, and events that took place when we weren't there long before us. So um, I certainly spent a lot of my free time reading about history, watching historical shows. Uh, some of the things that I love to do also in my spare time are to exercise. Playing golf is one of my favorite things to do. And when I'm not playing golf, I'm usually watching golf um, and a lot of other sports too. Uh, I live in Bethel Park with uh, my family. My wife, Mrs. Bacco, teaches fourth grade at the intermediate school now. I uh, used to teach uh, in eighth grade, but now moved to the little kiddos uh, over at the intermediate. And uh, my daughter, Carson, uh, AKA Peanut, uh, who's running around here somewhere right now, uh, enjoying the last bits of summer before she starts kindergarten. Um, so that's a little bit about me. I think, um, the, the best advice that I've ever received that I like to give to other people uh, is that the greatest gift that you can give to somebody else is to believe in them and believe that they can achieve anything that they set out uh, to do. And the greatest gift that you can give to people that believe in you is to work hard uh, to make them proud. So that's all I uh, ever ask from my students uh, is to give an effort that they're proud of. Uh, understand that their name and their reputation are tremendous gifts that they've been given and what they do with them is up to them. Uh, and that usually people get what they deserve. So if you put the work in and you work hard, uh, it's just to do your very best, you achieve things that you're capable of. Um, and I certainly look forward to seeing all the great things that you guys can do and achieve this year. Uh, we'll learn a lot together and grow a lot together uh, throughout the course of the year. And I'm certainly excited to get started. Hopefully we see you sooner rather than later. These are crazy times, craziest that we've ever lived in. So just take one day at a time, uh, do the best that you can, be you, work hard, uh, and have a little bit of fun along the way too. So looking forward to being able to put faces with names. Uh, we'll be in touch real soon. All right, guys, take care. Guten Tag, ich heiße Frau Manetti. I'm the German teacher here at the middle school, and you can find me on the second floor in room A217. Just look for the little German flags outside of the door. Um, a quick preview of mein Klassenzimmer. So, as you can see, we've got board, German flag, Austrian and Swiss flag, some posters, window, Einstein, and eine Landkarte. So, I am really excited to be working with you this year and kind of guiding our exploration of the German language and German culture together. Auf Wiedersehen. Hola, yo soy Senora Amato, I'm Profesora Amato. I'm Mrs. Amato, and I'm looking forward to being your Spanish teacher this year. Obviously, things will look a little bit different. So when you come into class, if you're physically in class, you may see me wearing both my, my face shield and my mask. On days when we are doing some instruction and you need to be able to see what I'm saying, I will remove my mask in class but keep my face shield in place. And you may be seeing that on video at home as well. Our classroom, will look a little bit like this. So you'll see that desks are grouped together. However, there is just one chair there to keep you safely spaced apart from one another. And the last thing I want to let you know is just a little bit about me. My mom is Slovak, so I love pirohi. Uh, my favorite place to travel to is Costa Rica. And I have a learning opportunity for you. Mexico is home to the largest pyramid in the world. And when I see you soon, if you can provide me with the name of that pyramid, 
I'll be really impressed. So until then, I wish you well. Ciao. Bonjour, je m'appelle Madame Thuy. Hello, my name is Madame Thuy, and I'd like to show you a little bit of my French and Spanish classroom. Please come and take a look. I'm going to go behind the camera so you can see more of what's going on. Bien, the first thing I'd like to say to you is bienvenue. Bienvenue, ça veut dire welcome. I want to welcome you to my class. Bien, aujourd'hui, nous allons regarder les choses de voir le calendrier, eh bien, I can statements, bien sûr, all kinds of ways to ask to go places if you should need to, eh bien, this is where we put the menu for the week, the calendar for the month, and also the weekly schedule, those haven't come out yet. Also our classroom rules are here. Bob Leponge. We have SpongeBob. He has a couple little fun rules for us. Eh bien, objectives, essential questions, and some of my favorite posters. Eh bien, we will see more of those as you come in and get acquainted with what's going on in my classroom. Some yummy pastries there. You don't want to miss those. Eh bien. This is my favorite bookstore, Mona Lise. They sell gently used books and some new books too. Eh bien, you may recognize this. This is the Cafe Terrace at Night by Van Gogh. They call him Van Gogh in French. Eh bien, un poster des émotions. Les choses les très importantes de la France. Eh bien, a few parts of the body posters in French and in Spanish, a map of Paris, and some information about the Francophone world. And we'll start with a world map from Médecins Sans Frontières, Doctors Without Borders. Eh bien, Le Coin du Prof, voilà. Eh bien, we will have seating that is six feet apart and some of you will meet uh, in class and some of you will not. Yeah. But welcome. I'd like to make sure you feel pretty welcome in class. Yeah. About me, I love, love, love my family. I have three adult children. I have two grandchildren and my husband and I live not terribly far away. So I can be at school in a very short amount of time. I love chocolate, I love coffee, and I love francophone countries, especially Tahiti and France, Belgium, Europe in general, and I love my students. I really do enjoy doing what I do. So I hope you'll feel welcome and I will be seeing you very shortly. Hola estudiantes, my name is Senora Wagner or Miss Wagner. I am the Spanish teacher here at the middle school. I would like to share today some information with you so you get to know me a little better. I am a native Spanish speaker from Colombia, a country located in South America. Some of my favorite foods are of course Colombian arepas, which is a bread that we eat every day at breakfast and is delicious. Uh, from America, I love pierogies. Some of my travel destinations have been Colombia, of course, my home country. I travel through the country and I know many places in there that are lovely and beautiful for you to visit one day. Peru is another country that I have visited and Panama. Some interesting cultural facts are that Colombia is the only country in South America that has a coastline on both the Pacific and Caribbean Ocean Sea. And is also, as you can see in the map, the first country in South America. Uh, I would like to share with you right now, and I'm going to make my screen a little bit here, so you now can see our classroom. And this is for you to get an idea of how things are set up this year, even if you are working from home or working here in our classroom, uh, you will be always welcome. And seats are six feet apart. As you can see, some of them are 
two seats together, others are just one. But in the ones that are two seats, only one student will be seated. And that's all I have to show you for now. I just want to tell you that I cannot wait to see you all in my classroom and share with you a lot of Spanish and a lot of things about my culture. So thank you for watching and see you in class. Hi, everybody. My name is Mrs. Tupper, and with the help of my friend, Mr. Johann Sebastian Bach, we're excited to welcome you back to orchestra in whatever format that you will be joining us this year. I wanted to take this opportunity to let you know where the orchestra room is located. We're in room A214, which is in the second floor main hallway, just down the hall from the office and the auditorium, and in the same hallway as the band room and the foreign language classes. So if you um, know where those classes are, you know you're in the vicinity of the orchestra room. Let me show you around. When you come in, you'll see my office on the left, and you'll head in a little further and you're gonna see a sink there. This year I'm gonna ask you to come in and wash your hands before you pick up instruments. We don't wanna use sanitizer before touching our instruments because those sanitizers are alcohol-based and that's not so great for the varnish of our instrument. But after you wash your hands, you're gonna head into the classroom and go to your assigned seat. This is what our classroom looks like this year. It's set up in rows. Um, each student will have their own chair, music stand, and tuner. Um, and I will be teaching from the front of the room where I have a little station set up with a keyboard and there's a screen that drops down from the ceiling when we need to use our um, computers or if I need to project something. Um, and I have some access to instruments as well. Speaking of instruments, you will not need your instrument on the first day of class. Leave those at home until I can go over with some, some instrument procedure items with you in our, um, in our beginning of the year expectations. But when you do start bringing instruments, we have an instrument storage room, which I'm taking you into now. This is where we store our larger size instruments, cellos and basses, so you do not need to bring those to school. Violins and viola players, please make sure you are bringing your instruments to school on your orchestra days. Uh, we traditionally store them here, but this year I might ask you to keep them with you so that they're not forgotten at the end of the day. Um, again, you don't need instruments on that first day of class, but I am excited to see you. Make sure you start practicing, and we'll see you soon. Hello, everybody. I'm Mrs. Lowley. I'm the art teacher at the middle school, and um, I am standing in my art room right now. And um, I teach grades 6, 7th, and 8th uh, middle school art. And I also am the sponsor of the National Junior Art Honor Society. Um, in this room, um, I would like to give you a little bit of a quick tour. I'm just going to kind of like spin around a little bit here, and you can see just a quick view of my room. It's very large and um, there's a lot of space to do a lot of really fun things so um, i'm looking forward to welcoming the new sixth graders and um, also welcoming back the seventh and eighth graders this year as well and uh, to find my room you'll have to go find the um, the guidance counselors offices and then you just uh, go down the hall turn to the right and i'm down the hall uh, across from mrs donovan's room okay look forward to meeting you all thanks bye bye Welcome to South Fayette Middle School. My name is Mrs. Cress and I'm the reading specialist here. I teach reading classes in 6th, 7th, and 8th grade as well as resource classes in 6th, 7th, and 8th grade. You may also see me in Mr. Lawton's ELA class in 6th grade or Mrs. Sassini's class uh, in 7th grade for ELA as well. As you know, we're under construction, so my room is not quite ready yet, but as you can see in the background, a little bit of a sneak peek. I like lots of colors. Um, I like to make the room really welcome and opening and comfortable for everyone. So welcome to South Fayette, and I can't wait to meet all of you. Hey middle schoolers, welcome to this crazy, exciting, and very different year we are about to have together. My name is Mrs. Cremonese, and I am both the aquatics and the health teacher. I can't wait to meet all of you throughout the course of the school year, both virtually as well as in person. My health room has moved this year, but unfortunately it is still under construction, so I'm not able to give you a tour. Once the school year has begun, you will be able to find me here in the pool area, um, as well as in the new health room next to the tech ed area off of the cafeteria. I am also very excited to introduce you to my student teacher from Slippery Rock University, Miss Stock. <laughs> she was a softball player as well as cheerleader for the Baldwin Whitehalls 
Baldwin Whitehall School District. She is going to be with us until early October. Please make her feel comfortable and welcome as we start this school year. I am honestly not so sure how the clubs and activities are going to pan out this year, but I wanted to let you know that I'm also the middle school yearbook and newspaper sponsor, as well as the green team leader. Um, so I would really look forward to working with you and creating memories from this unforgettable, crazy school year. Um, can't wait to meet you guys. See you soon. Bye-bye. Hi, my name is Ms. Lortz and I teach 8th grade Python programming. The Python classroom is located near the lower 8th grade level and I'm actually right beside Mr. Manorino's rooms. This classroom is one of the new classrooms from the construction, so there's not very much going on right now, but I'm looking forward to decorating and making it more comfortable in here in the coming weeks. I'm excited to get the school year started and I'm looking forward to meeting the 8th grade class. Alright, I'll see you soon. Bye. Hi everyone, my name is Mr. Wozenager. Most people call me Mr. Woz, and I teach band and general music here at the middle school. I teach band on A days and general music on B days. The band room is room A216 and is located on the main level of the middle school, right next to the auditorium. The general music classroom is room A210 and is located on the same level as the band room, just right down the hall. Unfortunately, the general music classroom is unable to be set up at the moment but you can expect to find chairs, music stands, and pianos set up at least six feet apart so that we can play safely hand drums, pianos, and guitars. I can show you the band room, so let's take a look. Welcome to the band room. The first door on the left is the instrument storage room. Normally, students can store their instruments here during the day and pick them up before dismissal to take home. Usage of the storage room will be limited this year, but will be available for larger instruments. Next is the instructional area of the band room. As you can see, chairs and stands are spread out. All chairs are at least seven feet apart. The front row of seats is eight feet apart to accommodate instruments like flute and trombone. Our percussion section is also spread out at six feet apart. There are also two practice rooms in the band room, but those will not be available for use for the time being. I'm looking forward to meeting you online and in school. Hi guys, I'm Mr. Rossi. And I'm Mr. Finnerton. And we are going to be your health, lifetime fitness, and physical educators for the season. Uh, we'll be teaching you here in the gym. We're hopefully gonna get outside, especially this fall as much as we can. For health and some of the lifetime fitness, I will also be down in the health room, which is located by technology and the cafeteria. Um, unfortunately, that room is still under construction a little bit, so we decided to be up here in the gym. Can't wait to see you guys. Welcome back to a new year. Hello, everybody, and welcome to a crazy, unique, and ever-changing school year. My name is Mr. Manorino, and I'm the technology education teacher here at South Fayette Middle School. The Tech Ed Wing is located next to everyone's favorite place in the building, the cafeteria. As you walk out of the cafeteria, you will round the corner to see three classrooms. The first you will pass on your right is the fabrication lab. This is where we build projects that require specialized woodworking tools. The next classroom on the right will be the computer lab and maker space. In this room, you'll be designing, 3D printing, laser engraving, and using other machines to bring your designs to life. Finally, the last room in the Tech Ed Wing will be on your left. This room is a more traditional classroom with various robot arenas set up. I wish I could show you all the rooms on cameras, but they are still being used for storage while construction comes to a conclusion. I look forward to working with all of you soon. Hello, South Fayette students and families. My name is Miss Torres and I am the family and consumer science teacher here at South Fayette Middle School. You can find me in one of the very first classrooms when you walk in through the front doors. I am right across from the main office and next to the principal's office, so I'm in a very good spot that is easy to find. I really look forward to having you in my class this year. When you enter my class this year, you will be entering one of our five kitchens and you will be taking a quick hand washing break before we get started each day. Uh, in addition, you will be walking over to the classroom side of our very large family and consumer science room. 
which looks a little bit like this. Getting everything ready for all of you to come to class. I am looking so forward to seeing you next week, whether it's virtually or in person. And I hope that we have a great year together here in Family and Consumer Science. Thank you. Hi, I'm middle school librarian, Mrs. Clayton. I teach an eighth grade media literacy course, which all eighth graders take. The media literacy course takes place in the hub, which is part of the library, which is the area you see right behind me in purple. Beyond that, you can see the library shelves. The library will not be open for browsing at the beginning of the school year, but I am coming up with a plan to let our students check out books. I can't wait to meet you. Hi everybody, I'm Mrs. Horzempa. I teach sixth grade music as well as chorus to sixth, seventh, and eighth graders. Welcome to room A318. A318 is on the top floor of the building at the top of the ramp on the opposite end of the grade level hallways. Here in music class as well as chorus, we will be doing a bunch of different activities that will help us learn more about music in the world around us. While everyone is seated six feet apart and we will be following all CDC guidelines that go along with singing and music education to make sure that everybody is learning as much as we can while staying as safe as we can. I hope that you have a great start to your school year and I look forward to seeing you soon. Don't hesitate to reach out if you have any questions or need more information and we'll talk with you soon. I look forward to seeing you. Hi, I'm Mr. Kruth. I'm the STEAM coordinator here at South Fayette Middle School and I'll be teaching STEAM to sixth graders. I'm located in room A317. If you're on the top floor, that's at the top of the ramp at the end of the hallway. That's where the steam room is. Just to take a quick take a look around the room, you can see it's set up. So all of you in the class will be at, li at least six feet apart. And if you're learning at home, we will have a camera in here that you'll be able to watch me teach as I teach everybody in class. You can see we have a Mount Rushmore of inventors back here because that's essentially what we do in here is we invent. We learn how to invent and we use an engineering process that you'll learn all about in the back of the room. I've been teaching this for 19 years. I am married. I don't have any kids except the ones that will be here at school. And I look forward to teaching you this year. Hopefully we can have some fun together. I can learn from you as much as you learn from me. Thank you. Hello, my name is Lisa Donovan. I am the public speaking teacher for seventh graders and I am the enrichment coordinator for grades six through eight. My room is located on the first floor going towards the gym entrance and it is right across from the art room, room A220. Some of you may be working with me for enrichment, or some of you may be working with me for various competitions or activities that um, are outside of your regular school day. If you need to reach me, you can either email me at Donovan, my last name, at southfayette.org. My extension is 509, or you can certainly stop by my room anytime. At this time, I do not have my room ready for viewing um, in light of the COVID situation and the changes that need to be made, but please feel free to stop in any time after school starts. I look forward to meeting all of you. Thank you. Bye.